What's going on guys, Trip here, and uh, we are doing a bit of Euro fishing. So we are going to uh, make our way around here and hopefully claim a peg just on the corner here. It's one of my uh, favourite spots. Sorry about the loud noise there, we had a lorry go past. So let's get hold of this peg, this peg's ours now. It's like not a bad peg at all. So we are going to... We are going to try for a bit of a floating or a silt bait. Uh, let's get the first one out quite far. I'm going to bring that off the gravel. Perfect. That'll do me just there. And let's get our second rod out. Do I have a gravel hook? I didn't bring no gravel. Oh, okay. Let's put a boilie on. And we'll go just in the centre. Perfect. And then we we'll get our third reel, uh, third rod. Excuse me. We we'll go just to the uh, just to the margins. Don't want to go too far. Hopefully. I've been my phone going off. Apologise about that. There we go. So we got one on. And uh, let's, let's get this in. Going to bring attention down. It's not putting that much of a fight up. I'm not going to lie. Um. That's going to be a tiny fish. So what you can hear is actually the buzzing coming off of my controller at the same time. Um, two and three are going. So I'm going to call two. Let's bring two in. I want to kind of play the fish a bit. I'm not sure. Can I pause? I can pause. Bear with me. I've got to turn the sound off on the old controller. There you go. Let's bring that in. So our third one's already on its way somewhere else. Ain't got a clue. Now the only downfall about this game is one thing it has a tendency of doing is allowing the fish to kind of go on land, I don't know if you can see it just there they go from in the reeds to, to basically on land and uh, you know when you've got a big fish you can you can literally be spending an hour trying to stop it going on land nice common there, not a bad size at all Alright, let's see if we can get the third one in. We've still got him there. He's taken a lot of line. See, he's already basically on land. He'll start coming off now. There we go. Again, really quick fish to get in. Don't think it's going to be anything big. Not a bad size bream. Not bad. Alright, let's go again. Let's try and get it just out there. In the middle of the lake, sort of where the sun's just hitting the middle there. That's perfect. Bring it in a bit. There we go. I think we put two out. We put two rods out this time. Because um, they did seem to fire off rather quickly. So let's just put another one to the side of that. Right, one's off already. One's gone. Let's grab one. Reel it in a bit. Good strike. All 
Right. This could be a bigger fish. Um, I could be wrong though. It does feel like there's a little bit more of a, a bit more of a pull to this one. Um, but we'll see. It's definitely not kind of tiring on its own very quickly, so that's a good sign. And two looks like it's getting uh, a little bit of movement as well. So if you guys can hear a weird uh, scratching sound in the background, I apologise. It's actually my uh, bearded dragon. Does his little uh, dance on the window to try and get out. But he's been out today, so... Right, let's try and get us away from the reeds. Bring the ratchet off a bit. This is really bad place sometimes to lose fish on this game. Just as you get them in. Away from them reeds. Still doing what, what it wants to do right now. There we go. There's a 22 pound 6 ounce Americarp. I'm, uh, I'm proud of that, I like that. Good looking fish. Good looking fish indeed. It's number two straight off again. Let's get number two in. He's off really, really quick. I'm really having to put the ratchet up high for this as well. Which is weird. None of them usually uh, on this game go up so high for me. And then again, it's probably just a tiny, tiny little tiddler. It's probably a goldfish. No, my luck anyway. Right, let's get it away from the reeds. <laughs> There's always the upside we can use it for baits and bigger, isn't it? Alright, so let's try and bring this one back in. You can definitely see some movement on the water as well. There we go. Okay, weren't expecting that. Bream again. That's a five pound twelve ounce, which ain't a bad size. So let's throw out another two. I like that area there, so that's gonna be fine for me. And do the same, we'll go just to the side, maybe a bit further out this time though. That's perfect. Started raining as well. I'm just gonna put just a tad sound. So I know it's actually firing off when it is. So, personally I've not noticed any difference in this game when it rains. Um, you, you know, you can still catch just as many fish when it rains as when it doesn't rain. Um, the way they've designed the lakes, I think, are really, really good. They are very, very good. Um, this is brilliant for long distance casting. Um, loads and loads of space in this lake. Um, the gravel... The gravel lake is probably the best if you're going for like monster fish. Um, there are some crazy fish in there. Um, there was a catfish in there that I, I, I managed to hook it, but nothing I had could uh, could stop it. It was gone, gone in seconds, straight out up the bank. Um, and basically, it looks like it was going for a walk on its own. So that was a shame. 
it was nice to know it's actually out there that it, that it is you know it is around and you can catch it if you do it right but um I am noticing <laughs> I may have got it wrong I am noticing a difference now that it's raining I know they've done some updates on this so uh, I could be wrong alright one's off one's off indeed try and uh try and get this one in first for some reason you always get like one and two go off at the same time um I guess that's the excitement of fishing though really. Bring this round. I want to try and keep him as level to me as possible because as he comes in there's a high possibility that he's going to push for the reeds anyway. So uh, I might as well try and stop that while I can. A bit more tension on there. Loosen the ratchet just a bit. Now the thing with the with the ratchet when you're fishing, you're kind of you'll kind of learn to when to to let your ratchet down a bit and when to tighten it. And the way this game plays, you kind of it tricks you quite quickly. There we go. Looks awesome with the light. There we go. There's a mirror carp at 18 pounds, 13 ounces. Not bad at all. So we're just gonna we're gonna let number number two sit around for a bit. We're just gonna chill, see if number two uh, does anything. We'll give it a couple of minutes. You never know. You never know. The weather's clearing up, so this might be uh, this might be beneficial for us. Bivy that we can't use, which is such a shame because I think that would set an amazing mood if you could just kind of jump in there and uh, just chill out while it's raining. But then usually you get a chair that you can't sit on as well, which again I think would be awesome if there's a chair you could sit on. Alright guys, well it looks like it's dying down, um, I'll keep talking anyway, if uh, if we get a fish, I'll carry on recording, but uh, thank you for tuning in to the, to the first episode, can't speak today, to the first episode uh, of my fishing, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and uh, also consider subscribing, um, but until next time, happy fishing guys. And